Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here in Prague, and I'm here at a beautiful, wonderful, fairly new hotel, the Andaz Prague. I'm here with Peter uh, Vanicek, who is, I got that right? Okay, okay, I was, I was close enough, but, uh, and uh, Peter is the uh, sales executive, luxury and leisure sales for this great property. He just took us on a, a really extensive tour of the, the whole place, and really it is amazing. It's, it's, you know, it is Andaz, but it's not an Andaz you've ever seen before. So we're gonna talk about this property and a whole lot more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Peter, first of all, thank you so much. We had a wonderful lunch, and we're going to talk about the food and beverage, and then you took us all around the hotel, and it really is an amazing property. But first of all, tell us, where are we in Prague right now? Uh, so, thank you, James, for the introduction. Uh, it was a pleasure. And we are in, actually, Newtown. So, Prague is divided into two parts, your old town and, and your new town, and we're in the new town area, so we're really at the central location, right? We have our Venceslav Square. That's uh, the famous square, which is not too far away, which everybody's heard about, and then you're not too far from anything. You said you're 15 minutes from the, the, uh, uh, the, the George, the, I'm sorry, what's the bridge, the big bridge, the Charles Bridge. Charles Bridge, Charles Bridge. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking I'm Charles, Charles, there, Charles Bridge, yeah. which I, I don't know, I've walked it about five times, I should know by now, but the Charles, <laughs> the Charles Bridge, and all also the, the river and everything else so it really is pretty central location right yeah exactly and and just five minutes away from here we have a, a municipal house as well which is yeah, tied we, we, we took a look at that that's amazing our, our mucha as well which is quite famous and uh, yeah and uh, old town square of course where where you have the beautiful astronomical clock which is just 10 minutes away so really a, a location where everything's uh, on the tip of the finger right. now tell us a little bit about this building uh, it was an older use building but first of all how did it start and and then how, when did it transition into a hotel so it was established in 1916 as a sugar palace conglomerate right. and uh, back then it was really a key economical asset that's why we're fortunate enough to have a palace like this because uh, sugar manufacturers were established here in the palace and basically took over the the central distribution of, of, uh, of uh, the sugar production uh, back then, and which was which was a key economical production back then, and this is why we have such a stunning palace right now. You have really high ceilings and all around. Yeah. It's amazing, and 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 it really there's a lot of space here. So it, it, first, it was, a, it was a sugar production sugar factory. When, what was I believe it, at some point it was turned into a bank, right? Yes, yes. In the 1990s, it was uh, turned into uh, a bank which was here for, for a couple of years. So some of the elements you can see are, are, are very much tied to, to the bank. There's no vault anymore. No. No, you but can't lock us in anywhere, right? No, no, I can't. But some of the suites we have are inspired by the by the offices of the directors of the bank that that used to be here, and some of the interiors of our suites are inspired by that, and that's very unique concept as well. Well, and then, and then of course somebody had the brilliant idea to turn it into a hotel, and you actually opened. I think just almost a little more than a year ago, right? Yeah, we opened um, in March uh, 2022. You are so a brand new hotel. Is that yeah, right? we yeah. celebrate our one year anniversary. Yeah, that's amazing. And so, you, Andaz is the brand. Of course, it's a member of the Hyatt family. And uh, it is, I think you're now one of the marquee Hyatts in the world, right? Yeah, we, we, we would like to be. We're, we're doing our best right now. We're still new. Uh, we're, it's just uh, one year, as, as I said, but uh, we're doing our best to, to step uh, forward and, and, and be the best representation of the Andaz brand we can be. And also, when we're talking about it a little bit uh, with a nod to all the local uh, influences here. Now, let's talk about what we just finished looking at. It was the, uh, the room product yourself. Uh, you got a full range. How many, how many keys do you have? 176 rooms. Wow, that's, that's a pretty big hotel uh, for, for Prague, but it really feels intimate, and then you have a lot of different categories. Talk a little bit about the, the categories that we just saw, including the, some of the amazing suites. Yeah, so we, we have uh, 152 uh, standard categories, and then we have uh, 24 suites. Okay. Uh, and we're fortunate enough to have 12 winter gardens out of these. Uh, and the winter gardens are where you have a, a, almost like a, tower, a turret and you yeah. can look all around and through these great windows. Yeah. It really is a stunning way to, to look at Prague. 
Definitely. It's this conservatory-like uh, tower and you get the 280 degree view of, of this beautiful city and it's a, it's a really unique future and of course our 152 standard rooms are also very unique combining the myths and the legends with the Art Nouveau uh, design and the, and the rooms by our, our lovely designer uh, Brian Robbins. Yeah well we're going to talk about the myths and the legends in a second but uh, some of those suites were just amazing it had so much space around them and, and so many different features uh, uh, large TVs large it really uh, large beds uh, and and great you know great standing tubs and some of them it really they're really super and as you said even the standard room is a pretty nice product I gotta tell you yeah de definitely it's it's a lovely product I mean we start at 25 meter meter squared mm -hmm. which is a uh, which is quite spacious for for your first category and we go up to 130 which is our top uh, Sugar Palace Suite, as you've seen. Yeah, the Sugar Palace Suite, and we went, to, we took, had, took a look at that. It's really a beautiful product. Now, uh, let's talk about the dining and food and beverage. To actually, you walk into the hotel, and the first thing I saw, I saw that's the reception desk. No, it's a bar and a kind of coffee place, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. And that's the lifestyle element of it. So we're a lifestyle luxury property, first one in Prague as of now. And this is what we're trying to do. We try to create a different atmosphere when the guests enter. So it's an open area. It's very welcoming, very warm. And it's it's really unscripted and, and less standardized. And this is the lifestyle feel where the guests enter and they really have this, this buzzing atmosphere, people sitting around. As you said, we try to bring in the locals as well. And then as they go along, they, they get to the front desk eventually. But this first impression, we want it to be different. And it is very different. And in fact, in fact, before we head to the restaurant, I'm going to talk about we're actually in one of the lounge areas, and they're kind of separated. There's about three or four of them in a row, and they each have a different theme. One's kind of the library. We're in the uh, what, what, what's the, the one? Where, the section cra the craftsmanship for the glass section. and the, the ceramic works. Yes. Here. Uh, so that everyone, and they're all kind of quiet and high ceilings, uh, really comfortable places to be. So it's not like you walk in and there's one that actually I loved that has a, a fireplace with two rocking chairs. So that yes. was amazing too. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the parlor area where you, you get to relax in the afternoon and where we serve our Andes hour with uh, pastries and nice cakes in the afternoon for our guests as there's, well. There's no shortage of pastries and cakes in Prague last I looked. Never. Never. Or bread. Or, or, bread. or, or beer. We were talking about bread or beer too. At fun. So then we actually, you, you treated us to a lovely lunch. And what's the restaurant here? It's a Czech avant-garde bistronomy. So it's a lovely combination of a bistro and, and gastronomy. And we have our hints of izakaya as well. That's Japanese which tapas. Is, which is interesting. On the one side, there was all this Japanese. Then you had sort of a new wave Czech favorites. And then, uh, and I, I was trying to stick to the Czech, but the, the, the Japanese also look good. It was really uh, uh, a lovely thing. You have local beers, local wines, and all kinds of things. And it was a lovely presentation. And you actually, have, we were in a private room, but uh, really for our, our group. But it really was, it really was a, a fantastic lunch. And then we, then we had to go follow you all around. And we yeah. were like, uh, uh, okay, <laughs> where's the next meal? Uh, but the, <laughs> yeah. but, but it, it, we actually, to see the rooms, it, you really have to see that. And then uh, I guess you ended on, we went down, that you have a wonderful spa downstairs? Yes, we have a wonderful spa inspired by Clara Roth. Uh, she, she is a Czech entrepreneur and again, trying to really support uh, the local community, local products, local producers. And this is, uh, spa is also our bathroom amenity provider. So she provides us with our special line of uh, Krasa bathroom amenities, which is beauty in Czech. We want everybody to be beautiful, of course. And uh, this is organic and, and very, very good uh, for for, uh, for your bathroom treatments and, and it's just a lovely concept of a spa in no, general. And, and I love the idea that it is local and local products and things like that. And of course, the one thing I do want you to talk about a little bit is, we were talking, made allusions to it, is the myths and legends that run throughout this hotel. Mm -hmm. And talk a little bit about that, why it's so important for you to reflect sort of local myths and legends and what those, some of those myths and legends are. Yeah, th that's a great question, definitely. Uh, well, as I mentioned before, Andas Prague really tries to uh, connect the local community, to connect our guests with the local community. And that, of course, includes culture, that includes traditions, that includes history. And myths and legends are a big part of our, our history and our culture. And uh, our designers did a great job in incorporating that uh, throughout the hotel, not only your rooms, but your facilities behind us as well in the lounges, just really everywhere. And whether it's your knight Brunswick with his uh, magical sword, or it's uh, Lebushi reaching out to the stars, 
you can see these elements present everywhere in your rooms as well. Or the lion, famous the, lion. The famous lion overlooking all your beds, yes. uh, which I was a little afraid he'd be, he's there to eat you, but he's actually there to protect you. Yeah, so that's it. Companion. And then you have the golem, which is another, explain what that is, because that was kind of, because all the lamps are, reflect that. And the golem was a creature created by, I believe, a rabbi uh, yes. here to protect uh, the, the synagogues, right? Yes, exactly. It was there to protect the Jewish quarters, and he built this golem out of, of, of this mud substance and had a, had a sh gem that I put in his head, and that's how he came alive and protected uh, the Jewish quarters, as, which, is a, which is a Jewish legend about golem. And we have uh, our, our local partners from Preciosa uh, that created these lovely night lamps inspired by golem as well, and we have different futures of, of golem as well. So again, going back to, to the myths and the legends that this hotel is literally built around. And you have, you have lovely murals depicting these legends as well, and even a whole hallway that, where you have little plaques and ceramic tiles that yeah. talk about the legend. And you, you, could, you sit there for hours just talking about what these legends Definitely. all mean. So you're really trying to re connect with the local culture, the local myths, the local legends, and if obviously local food and a local spa. So they're all here for you. Anything else you want to tell our 114,000 travel advisors out there about this property and how they can best have their clients experience it? Uh, well, the most important thing is that all of you to know that we're here to provide an experience. We want our guests to have an experience. It's not just a city hotel. It's not just accommodation. It's an entire experience. And this is why we love to take our guests on a, this unique journey through the myths and the legends, through the lovely standalone F&B venues, and through the entire facilities of the hotel to create a true experience that emerges them into the local community and this authentic uh, approach we have to, to hospitality here and we'll be more than welcome to to welcome all of your clients and this is Andas Prague. Absolutely. You are, uh, I believe, you're uh, a Virtuoso member now? Yes. Right. And, and of course, you're part of Hyatt. And uh, really, this is you. And I, maybe we'll see what Virtuoso will see uh, this year. But I want to thank you, first of all, uh, Peter, for, for giving this great tour. And where can travel advisors go, uh, website, whatever, to learn more about this wonderful property? Uh, definitely reach us at our website, Andes Prague. Uh, dot com. Uh, as you said, we're part of Virtual, so we're now being part of Amex FHR and other luxury consortia. Of course, Hyatt Privé is also a consortia for us, uh, and you can always reach me through through an email or a, or a phone contact, and and I'm happy to uh, help you provide the best uh, experience for your guests. Again, Peter, thank you so much. It was a great lunch, great tour, and I look forward to coming back here one of these days to see how you're progressing after a year, and hopefully next year we can go by and take a look. Thank, thank you so much again. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I'm uh, James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report in Prague.